No, I, I, here's how it works, Dr. Fauci. Right. I get to ask you the question. You're the highest paid official in the United States government. You've given us your advice on baseball, on dating apps, on cruise ships. You told us zero masks, one mask, two masks, now back to one mask. I'm just asking you, when is it going to end? Now, I repeat, I'm not anti-vax. But you're saying we got to be forced to be vaccinated? So you don't have to be a conservative. You don't have to be a traditionalist. But what about liberals? You know, the high information by the science people. In a recent Gallup survey, Democrats did much worse than Republicans in getting the right answer to the fundamental question, what are the chances that someone who gets COVID will need to be hospitalized? The answer is between one and 5%. 41% of Democrats thought it was over 50%. Another 28% put the chances at 20 to 49. So almost 70% of Democrats are wildly off on this key question and also have a greatly exaggerated view of the danger of COVID-2 and the mortality rate among children. All of which explains why today the states with the highest share of schools that are still closed are all blue states. So if the right-wing media bubble has to own things like climate change denial, shouldn't liberal media have to answer for, how did your audience wind up believing such a bunch of crap about COVID? You got guys like Governor DeSantis and Governor, Governor Greg Abbott out there looking like geniuses. No forced vaccinations, no mask mandates, no, <laughs> their businesses are all open, their stadiums are open, right? full to capacity, and yet, no spikes in the cases, no hospitalizations increasing, no deaths increasing. Are, are you not seeing this? Those of you who are still buying this, you're still masked up in your car and everything. Texas lifted its COVID restrictions recently, and their infection rates went down, in part because of people getting outside to let the sun and wind do their thing. <laughs> but. But to many liberals, that can't be right. Because Texas and beach-loving Florida have Republican governors. But life is complicated. I've read that the governor of Florida reads. <laughs> but apparently the governor is also a voracious consumer of the scientific literature. And maybe that's why he protected his most vulnerable population, the elderly, way better than did the governor of New York. Now, personally, I trust the science. I'm not worried about COVID in the least. What I am worried about is the COVID cult trying to abolish the Constitution and turn our homeland into a gulag. What I am worried about is scientism posing as science. I'm worried about junk science. Put a mask on, it's gonna save your life. <laughs> all right, that's not science. If you look at all the mask mandates throughout the country, when we instituted mask mandates, the incidence of the disease went up, particularly in December and January, as we went up exponentially, as the rise in infections occurred, everybody was wearing masks. So there's not a great deal of evidence that mask mandates or economic lockdowns have changed the trajectory. If you weren't in a cult, you would see, as we are seeing, that this has nothing to do with your health. This is about power. This is about control.